Hello, everyone. Good evening for all of you. Let us start now. Hello, everyone. Uh, you are welcome in this orientation session for the introduction to the CAPS exam preparation course that introduced or pro provided by PTEC. Let me first uh, introduce myself and uh, say some instructions for this session. Firstly, uh, this session will be uh, uh, recorded and uh, the, uh, all of you will be mute during the session. And if you have any question at any time, please raise your hand and then open your mic and ask about it. At the end, I will open the discussion about this session and about all that you need about the course and about the CAPS exam itself, okay? So uh, let's start. Firstly, our first thing, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Ahmed Gad. I'm a pharmacist from Egypt. Uh, since 1999, I'm the founder of P-Tech, a center producing a preparation uh, courses for different tests all over the world. And today, as I mentioned, we will start the orientation session for the preparation to the CAPS exam, the coming, uh, the coming uh, exam. Okay. The first thing, what is the CAPS exam? I think most of us knowing CAPS exam, but needs to know more information about it needs to know the composition of it, the topics that you need to prepare or you need to study to prepare for it. Okay, so let us see some information about the exam itself. What is the CAPS exam? The CAPS exam, it is an abbreviation for knowledge assessment of pharmaceutical sciences. Okay, this examination regarding to the pharmaceutical sciences, all the sciences that we studied previously in our uh, pre-graduate studying. The exam tests your knowledge of basic of pharmaceutical sciences as they related to the participating in Australia. It is the first step for registration as a pharmacist in Australia and also in New Zealand. Okay, so this test is the first step in, uh, this test is the first step in registration as a pharmacist in Australia and in New Zealand also. So what is the composition of this test? What does it consist of? The test is formed of two papers. Paper one and paper two. Paper one formed of two main topics. Also paper two formed of two main topics. What about the each paper and the composition of each paper? Paper one formed of pharmacology and physiology, which consists of about 70% of the paper. paper also, the other 30% regarding to pharmaceutical chemistry. This is the composition according to the official site of Australian Pharmacy Council. So the questions distributed by this way, 70% of the questions regarding to pharmacology and physiology, and 30% of the questions regarding to the pharmaceutical chemistry. The paper two also composed of two main topics. The first topic would be therapeutics. It's weight about 70% of the paper. And the second part is the pharmaceutics and its weight is about 30% of the paper. Okay. Let us see under each topic, what are the compositions or what the paper consists of. The Paper one, the topics or subtopics regarding to paper one. The first one is the uh, pharmacology and physiology. Pharmacology and physiology, you will need to show 
you understand and have a suitable knowledge in the following subtopics. Biochemical pharmacology. Okay. Systemic pharmacology. Chemotherapy. Toxicology. Pathophysiology. General physiology. Those are the subtopics of pharmacology and physiology, which represent about 70% of the paper. Okay. The other subtopic, which is pharmaceutical chemistry. What about the composition of it? Organic chemistry. Okay. The first one is organic chemistry. Under the organic chemistry, we need to know the nomenclature, the drug classes, the reaction types, and some other topics under this subtopic, like drug stability, acid-based reaction. Okay. The second one is stereochemistry. Also, stereochemistry, the nomenclature, the optical activity, the geometric isomerism, conformational isomerism, physical and inorganic chemistry, some topics or some information regarding to the physical chemistry and inorganic chemistry. The basics, like the kinetics, the acid-base reactions, the phase equilibrium, analytical chemistry, also some Topics related to this analytical chemistry, like the reactions, redox reaction, assay techniques, uh, diagnostic agents, and spectroscopy. But we are uh, not going through those topics in deep because the question is not in deep in each topic, but just general knowledge about them. Okay. The next topic will be biochemistry. After analytical chemistry, the biochemistry, then structural activity relationship, which is one of the very important topic, the structural activity relationship. And we should know what is the activity of each structure. And if you change the structure, what will happen to the activity? And how can you identify the structure, which is a very important point regarding to the exam? Okay. Medicinal chemistry, the relation between the chemistry and activity also. And finally, the drug metabolism. This is involved under the topic of chemistry. This is the composition of paper number one. Paper number two. Paper number two, as I mentioned previously, it is formed of pharmaceutics and therapeutics. Let us see the therapeutic uh, part and pharmaceutics part. What are the compositions? Pharmaceutics part, which represents about 30% of the paper. Physical pharmacy. Physical pharmacy, we should know the solvents, the type of preparations, solutions, suspensions, different formulations. Okay. Biopharmaceutics, the dissolution, the drug absorption, the bioavailability and bioequivalence. Pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics, they are under the pharmaceutics part. Pharmaceutical microbiology. Okay. Uh, also, it is under the pharmaceutics. Formulation. Those forms, including extemporaneous preparations. Okay, what about the therapeutics? Therapeutics include many subtopics. The first one, which make headache for many persons, which is the calculations. The pharmaceutical calculations is considered under the part of therapeutics. Okay. Posology and dose determination. The doses, different doses of drugs. Medicine of choice which is the drug of choice for certain indication or certain condition. A subtopic of surgical dressing, an application and associated drug delivery system, adverse reaction of drugs, 
included in the therapeutics and in paper number two. And drug drug interactions, which is a very important topic, and they focus on it in the exam. Drug information, some important information regarding to the drugs. Okay. Also, man management of minor element. Management of a minor uh, element, one of the topic regarding to, or one of the subtopic regarding to the therapeutics. Okay. Under this subtopic, we will see the non prescription uh, products, the OTC the diagnosing of minor illness, the uh, rationale over the counter, product uh, selection or over the counter drug information, all of this under the minor elements. Okay. Those are the topics of each paper and the composition of each paper. Our target not to know the composition, which of them under which paper. Our target is to pass the exam. Whatever the composition and whatever the paper, we need to pass both papers. So how can we pass? How can we do that? The scoring, according to the official site of Australian Pharmacy Council, distributed as following. You must complete all questions in each paper. Each paper followed of 100 questions. So it's not our target to know what is the composition of each paper or what is the uh, questions per paper or this question related to paper one or paper two. This is not our target. Our target to solve the 100 question per paper. Not only that, we need to solve a 50% of each subtopic. We need to solve 50% of pharmaceutics, we need to solve phar uh, the pharmaceutical chemistry by 50%, pharmacology by 50%, pharmaceutics by 50%, and therapeutics by 50%. So you should answer all questions, and you should have a 50% of the questions solved in a right way in order to pass the exam. We need overall mark about 50%. Okay, so the 50% at least overall mark. Then you will pass. Okay. How can we prepare for this? It's not a difficult issue, but also it's not an easy one. We need to focus. We need to know how can we prepare? How can we study? How can we get the right information? Okay. So for the preparation of the exam, we can prepare by self-study, which is not bad idea. Especially we have a lot of sources for the exam. A lot of sources and uh, references present in all groups, so we can depend on them. But unfortunately, those sources are very big sources. We cannot focus in which of them is the right source, which of them contain the right information, which information is the right. We need a very big time or a very long time to collect the most important information that we need. And this time is not available for all of us. Most of us are working. Most of us having a family, having children. So the time is limited for study. So we don't have the option of the time to collect the information or the right information that we need. Okay, even we have a lot of sources. Okay. Also, if we need a help, if we need a, a respectable source for information, if we need to ask about something, what we will do, also it's a problem. Another thing, 
is to prepare by joining our course from PTEC. This course will provide you all that you need for the exam. We'll uh, reserve your time in studying. We'll direct you to the perfect or the right information that you need from the exam. Okay, through the last three years, we have a big experience about the exam and about the information needed and about the questions needed. So we introduced this course for you to help you to pass in a very easy way from the first attempt, okay? So what is this course or what about the course composition? The preparation course from CAPS exam formed of 36 lectures, total 36 lectures produced by the following way. Okay, produced by the following way. We have 22 live lectures, which will be recorded live, introduced through or conducted through Zoom meeting, <laughs> and will be recorded and present in the website. So you can listen to them at any time if you cannot attend these live lectures. Plus 14 recorded lectures also present in the website, in your account, in the website. So you can listen to them at any time you want also. So all lectures present in the website, you can listen to them at any time you want. You can repeat them many times through the time of the course and through the time of your account. Okay. So this will help to reserve your time and study whenever you want, whenever it is possible for you. If you are working, if you have a family, if you have anything other than the studying, you will study at the time you want. Plus nine revision lectures. Those nine revision lectures, four of them are revision or complete revision, and five of them are free revision, uh, small revision. The total questions are more than 700 MCQ from the previous exams. Okay, so we focus on the previous exams, the questions repeated in the previous exams, so that when you go to your exam, you will know what happened. You will know the questions. You will know the idea of, about the questions. How can you solve the question if it is changed? This is our target. Okay, so more than 700 minutes Q from the previous exam. Not only that, after each lecture we have, there is, or there are questions from the previous exam related to the lecture. So if you have today a lecture, after we finish this lecture, we have some questions related to these lectures and those uh, questions mostly from the previous exams. Okay. And after each chapter, we have also, you should do the test, the test regarding to the chapter. Also this test formed of many questions from the previous exams. So all over the course, we are conducting questions related to the real exam. So that it will be easy at the end, it will be easy for you to go to the exam with a big knowledge about the questions. Not only that, at the end we have a mock test. This mock test, a format of 200 questions in two papers, it mimics the real exam. It likes the real exam. So when you solve it, you will feel that you are in the real exam. Okay, and also when you go to the real exam, you will feel that you solved it previously. Okay, this will help you so much about the real exam. Now, let us see the course content. What are the content of this course? How can we conduct those information or those topics regarding to the CAPS exam in our course? We have 10 chapters, the 36 lectures distributed in 10 chapters. The first chapter that we will start about the pharmacology and CNS. 
the first lecture will be about the introduction to the pharmacology. Okay, then we have another three lectures about the CNS products and CNS conditions like schizophrenia, Parkinson's, modis odus, and epilepsy, and drugs affecting CNS, CNS depressant, and CNS stimul stimulant. Then the second chapter formed of four lectures, four another uh, lectures. We will study different topics like the congestive heart failure, hyperlipidemia, arrhythmia, hypertension, thromboembolic diseases. Okay. The next chapter, next chapter will be the chemistry, one of the very important topics. And it represents about 30% of the paper one. So you should study it very well. How can we conduct it? Through three lectures. Those three lectures, we will have some information about organic chemistry, about analytical chemistry, about uh, stereochemistry, heterochemistry, and the pharmaceutical chemistry and the structure. In this chapter and in this lecture particularly, we will learn how can we identify any structure that we have by easy way. Just knowing the nucleus so that you can identify what is the drug. So whenever or wherever you see any structure, you can expect what is this structure or which group this structure related to. Okay. Then the very important chapter about the pharmaceutical calculation. As I mentioned previously, calculation make a headache for many persons. In this chapter, we have three lectures covering all topics related to the calculations. We will learn how can we solve the problems by an easy way within one or maximum one and a half minutes, okay? Which our target in calculation. The calculation will consume your time in the exam. So you should not consume your time in the calculation. You should solve them as fast as you can, but not only fast way, but by an effective and right way. We will learn how can we do that through this chapter. Three lectures about dilution and mixing, dosing, molarity, malequivalence, malleosmols, tonicity, and pharmacokinetics calculations. Okay. The pharmaceutical sciences, <coughs> the next chapter, form of five lectures about different topics related to pharmacokinetics, pharmacodynamics, Drug drug interactions, pharmaceutics, and toxicology. <clears throat> then we will have the chapter of medicinal sciences, including the physiology and anatomy and histology, plus endocrine system, plus the biochemistry, and some other topics. So this will be in three lectures. The microbiology and immunology, one of the very important chapters microbiology and immunology, especially the antibiotics, is an important topic. In the last exam, antibiotics present in many questions, either in paper one and paper two, not only in one paper, okay? Also, we'll study the antiviral agents, antifungal agents, and thermentic agents, the cell composition in the microbiology, the different bacterial infection, and the causative organism of some infections, which is a question repeated every exam. Also, we have a part in this chapter about immunology and another part about vaccination, which also is an important topic and included in the previous exams with many questions. The next chapter or next two chapters will be about therapeutics. Both of them will be about therapeutics. We will study many topics, many conditions. Firstly, with the autocoids, histamine, serotonin, prostaglandins, leukotrienes, the pain management and the analgesics, anti-inflammatory agents, different part, types of them, the pain management, the uh, osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, gout, GI disorders, diabetes, asthma, renal diseases, hepatic diseases, chemotherapy, 
which is one of the very important lecture also. Gynecology, okay? Those will be in eight lectures. The last chapter, we will have the OTC. Included different conditions of OTC products like dermatological conditions, eye and ear conditions, dental conditions, common cold, constipation, diarrhea, the different types of laxatives, uh, how can we control the diarrhea, and some other topics. Okay, after we finish, we will have the revision. The main revision formed of four lectures plus another five small revision lectures, each of them about 10 to 15 questions from previous exam also. Okay, in this revision, we will study or we will revise not the topics, but we will revise the questions. So the revision form of MCQ from different topics related to each paper. Okay, we will discuss the question. We will discuss the rationale of the choice. What is the right answer? And what will you do if you have another question related to this one? Another uh, statement, but the same idea. What will you do in the exam? Okay, this will be our revision. And finally, as I mentioned, there is the mock test that you can do by yourself through the website and mimic the real exam, then you will go to the exam and pass. This is our course. Okay. Now the question, how can we enroll the course and how can we join this course? <clears throat> the first step, first step is the applying for uh, the course or registration to the website. Our website is www.newptech.com. This is the official website of PTEC. Okay, you should register firstly. Then, or instead of that, let us see this video. This video will explain or illustrate how can you join the course. Okay, let us listen to this video.
<clears throat> okay. Now I finished my presentation about the CAPS exam and about the course. Uh, it's time for you. It's time for your question. So you can open your mic and ask, or you can send the questions in the chat uh, section. So let me uh, answer some questions present in the chat. <clears throat> the first question from Muhammad Pasha. Uh, to pass each paper, need to get 50% of each subtopic. Yes, the answer is yes. You should pass 50% of each topic. In the result uh, sheet, if uh, uh, you have any problem with any part, they will send you that this part, you didn't pass the 50% of it. Okay, so you should pass every topic, every subtopic by 50%. Yes, a uh, question from uh, Sana. Is, it, is this course enough to pass the exam? Yes, it is enough. Our uh, passing record in the previous three years, ranging from 93 to 95% for from all members joined us. Uh, there is no need for other books. This is why, because the sources that uh, included in the uh, course or that I prepared the course from it are the same sources of the exam, like the CPR, Lippincott, MH, and other sources. So if you don't have a time, you will not need to go to other sources. Okay, but if you have a time, if you need more information, that's good to uh, go to other sources, not for the exam only, but for your general knowledge. Okay. The coursing, uh, the course date will start on the coming Wednesday. Okay, we will start on the coming Wednesday, the first lecture. Also, when you go to the uh, website and the page of the course, you will see the schedule of the live lectures, when each lecture will be conducted and the time of it. Yes, it is enough time for July exam. It is enough time. Still, we have a half of March, then April, June, April, May, and June. So three and a half months plus a half of July because the uh, exam of July will be on the uh, 17th of July. So we have a very good time, a very enough time to prepare well. Uh, another question, lectures will the same, I mean, whatever the course online, or yes, lectures are the same because the recorded lectures are from the, uh, the online one or the live one. You mean by online is the uh, live lectures, yes. Both of them are similar to each other. So if you cannot attend at any, at any time, if you don't have a time to attend, you can listen to the recorded lectures without any problem. Okay, all the content present here and here, there. The next patch, uh, do you mean the next, by the next patch is the patch for uh, um, November exam? This is what you mean, Maria? Okay, the November exam, still we didn't define the actual uh, starting date, but mostly after two months, we'll, we will start, or maybe uh, uh, before that, one month and a half or two months maximum, we will start the preparation for November exam. How many hours need to study per day? Uh, for the coming July exam, you need to, two hours at least per day to be well prepared. Uh, about English test, whatever this English test, IELTS or PTE, you don't need this test in this exam. In CAPS exam, there is no requirement of English test, but you need the English test for the coming steps. 
after CAPS exam, either for the written and for immigration, if you will immigrate to Australia. What about other questions? Uh, to see if I don't have time for videos. What do you mean by that? It, uh, each video is uh, its time or its length about two hours. So you don't have two hours to listen to the video. Is it difficult to you? <clears throat> this video will help you to understand the topic and will help you and direct you to some important points you should focus on. So I think it's not a big deal or a very difficult way to listen to just two hours uh, for lectures. And uh, you can listen to uh, three, hour, uh, three lectures per week. So six hours per week. This is my recommendation. But if you can study without the videos, this is up to you. Uh, in the live lectures, we will have three live lectures per week in order to finish before July exam. Okay, so we have three lectures per week on Saturday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Okay, each of them about two hours long. Uh, and the time will be uh, according to the Sydney time. It's about... 8 p.m. Sydney time, like uh, today's lecture, like today's session, okay? But I, as I mentioned, if you do not have the time to attend the live lectures, these live lectures will be available in your account on the website, so you can listen to it at any time you want. So whatever you attend or not, it is easy to access to the lecture itself, the video, and listen to it, okay? Muhammad uh, uh, Hashem, I told this uh, issue about the time. It is 8 p.m. Sydney time or in Cairo, if it, if you are in Cairo or in Egypt or uh, in the Arab countries, it will be 11 a.m. Cairo time. All the documents regarding to CAPS exam registration, most of the documents regarding to your documents, your uh, passport, your uh, 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 certificate from the university, uh, your registration in your country. So if you go to the official website, the Australian Pharmacy Council uh, website, you will find all documents needed. It's a very easy way to register, very easy way to start the first step of the uh, skill assessment or document assessment. The calculation part is enough to study. Yes, it is enough. It's more than enough. We will practice may, uh, about many questions. The most important thing that we should know in the calculation is how to solve in a very fast and easy way, how to reach the answer in an easy way which is important in the calculation to, uh, uh, to reserve your time in the exam because calculation may take a long time in the paper too, which will consume the time and make the other questions difficult to uh, answer. Uh, a question from Tasneem, revision sessions will be on the same allocated days as the lectures. I'll define the uh, time of revision sessions after we finished. Mostly they will be at the same time. And also you will find the schedule on the website. Everything, every information you need, you will find it in the website. Okay, I, I will announce about it also, not only that. Uh, Muhammad Hashem, uh, should I wait until the approved uh, they approve the documents. No, actually, they will. They not refuse any documents. 
just saying that you should uh, change these documents or change a part of the document, but mostly they will not refuse the documents. So mostly you will have the uh, eligibility letter to uh, set the exam, okay? You should not wait till approval because it will take about two months. So if you are planning to attend the coming exam, you should not wait. You should start to assessment directly and start your preparation also. Even if you want to uh, attend the coming July exam or the next November exam. Uh, the booking of the exam, you should have the eligibility letter. For the booking of the exam, you should wait the eligibility letter. But the, for the preparation, I mentioned I meant that for preparation you should start. Okay. <clears throat> uh, sir, I have one question about that. Yes, please. Uh, if uh, there is a two paper, right? Paper one and paper two. Yes. So in in case we uh, in case we could not be able to get 50% in one of the paper then mm -hmm. what will be the next procedure like we need to sit in both for next one or only one no if you fail one paper you will mm -hmm. repeat this paper only not all two paper okay if you fail and, uh, a part of the paper mm -hmm. like pharmaceutics for example or therapeutics mm -hmm. you will repeat the paper that contain this topic okay yeah yeah not only yeah. the topic you will repeat the paper that contains this topic okay yes yes and the fees are the same yeah like uh, whatever we are paid for both you no know, the fees will be for one paper not for both papers okay 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 you, you will pay the fees for one paper oh okay yeah 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 thank you sir thank you yeah okay. But uh, actually, my recommendation is that you should not think about that. You should think and believe that you can pass from the first attempt. Okay, if you believe that, you will do that. Okay, any other question? Hi, sir. Uh, Hi. Sir, actually, like, you know, how to recognize exactly, like, I'm like, uh, from paper one, how many questions we will have in paper, uh, sorry, in paper one, uh, mm -hmm. from pharmaceutical chemistry, how many questions we'll have, and pharmacology, how many we'll have. Paper two, mm -hmm. ceutics, how many we will have, and uh, therapeutics, how many questions we will have. Mm -hmm. Any particular number, sir, uh, how can we tackle with that? There are no particular number. You cannot uh, know that completely because uh, in the uh, exam, you will have a random questions, random distributions of the questions. Okay. Also, you will have different models, not only one models all over the world, different models. So in some models, some persons having calculation more than others. This happened okay. every exam. Some persons having in their paper two exam about 20 calculation problems and some having only 10. There is no uh, uh, one number of each. And the questions distributed randomly. So you cannot define in which questions related to which time. You cannot do that. And my opinion also, do not try to find that in the exam. Just try to solve whatever the question just try to solve okay okay sir got it that is one thing sir but uh, yes. but thing is that example if uh, because we, we should be in a position to attempt a write each and every question because example if 20 questions only are coming from chemistry and unluckily we are solving only eight of out of it Still, mm -hmm. our paper will uh, still will, uh, we cannot pass the exam, right? So that is the that is the yes. scenario there. Yes, you, you cannot pass the exam. You should uh, the, solve ten at least ten in the right way. Out of twenty, yes. Yes, ten out of twenty. Okay. 
in the exam you cannot pass to the next question if you can, if you don't choose any answer so you will choose any answer then pass to the next one okay whatever yes, your sir, answer but, is right or not. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. yes sir but will our preparation in case if you are if you are taking a course with you will mm -hmm. our preparation be uh, made in such a way that we will attempt each and every question i mean like you will make us uh, uh, equipped with the, all the required knowledge i think sir yes yes the course cover all required knowledge to cover all topics of the exam this okay, is how sir. can you pass other than that uh, you will not pass if you lose one topic or one important topic you cannot get the uh, required score. Mm, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Sir, like uh, exactly when is this course going to go, get started and what is the fee that you are charging, sir? Yes, uh, the, we will start on the coming Wednesday. We'll start the first lecture. The first live lecture will be on the coming Wednesday. Uh, for the fees and uh, payment, please contact with me on the WhatsApp, uh, uh, on the WhatsApp number. I will show you my WhatsApp number now. Okay. This is my number, my phone number and WhatsApp number. So you can contact directly to me to see the uh, fees. And also the fees is present in the website. So, but you just contact with me, okay? Also for any person who wants to contact with me, you are welcome at any time. Um, how can we pay for the course in Egypt? Yes, uh, also Mohammed Hisham, please contact me on the WhatsApp uh, number. Uh, to show you how can you pay. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. I, I'll be in touch with you, sir, in WhatsApp. I'll message you. Yes, thank you. Yes, thank you. Uh, another question from Tasneen. Do the chapters have to be done in a sequence as set out? It's not a must, but I prefer that because some informations, some information built on the previous one. Especially the first lecture, you should start with the first lecture because it will build up some important information for the next lectures. Okay, but you can attend the or you can listen to the uh, calculation before the chemistry. You can listen to the uh, pharmaceutics before the chemistry and before the calculation. Whatever, there is no problem or there is no sequence. You should attend by this. Okay. Uh, another question, if I booked the exam from India, can I attend for other, from other country? Yes, you can do that. You can do that. Uh, this is according to the site, the website of, of, uh, of Australian Pharmacy Council. Uh, you will send them an email to change the location. If you reserve it already in India, then you want to change the, the location. You, you can send to them to see how can you change or if from the first, if you are in India and want to reserve uh, on another center outside of India, you can do that. But they are not responsible for the uh, other procedures of uh, traveling, like visa, like other uh, procedures. They are not responsible for that. So if you book an exam outside of your country, be confirmed that you can have the visa of this country. You can travel without any problem. Okay. Any other question? Uh, Dr. Ahmed, uh, please, I have a question regarding the, the mm -hmm. content of the lecture. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, I'm preparing for uh, for July exam, inshallah. Yes, inshallah. So, so for me, uh, I'm not looking for uh, a lot of information, a lot of data. I mm -hmm. just need to go to the point regarding mm -hmm. the recalls, regarding the questions. So mm -hmm. the content of the lectures will... Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yani, I mean, how many recalls, how many questions inside mm -hmm. the, the lectures, every lectures, not mm -hmm. uh, regarding the, the data and the information. And this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this is what we do in the lectures. <clears throat> this is what we do. We will focus on the target. We will focus on the information that you need. Sometimes you will find that I uh, mentioned some questions related to this point. Mm -hmm. Some questions repeated in the previous exam related to this part. But not only that, do not rely, please do not rely only on the recourse. Mm -hmm. 
it is a critical point. It may help you somewhat, but sometimes it will destroy all your, inf your information because mm -hmm. especially in the last three exams, they changed their mind. In Australia, mm -hmm. they changed their mind. So a new question is present. But if you know the idea, you will mm -hmm. solve any question, whatever, is it new or not? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we will focus in our lectures about the target information. We will focus on the recalls, plus adding some information that help you if they change the idea, if they change the questions, what you will do. This is what will uh, we do in our lectures, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, what is the prob uh, probability of getting sponsorship visa after passing the exam? Uh, it's related to the visa. Um, there is no actual probability or actual uh, data about this. Okay, any other question? Uh, the revision uh, lectures, uh, Dr. Mm -hmm. Ahmed, uh, when will start the revision lectures? Mostly we'll start uh, before the July exam with more than one month, one and a half or one month. Okay? okay, this revision will be after we finish the course. Okay. The coming revision will be after we finish the course. So mostly it will be in the first of June or in the second week of June, this is the expected date of it. But you will share it, right? Yeah, for yeah, sure. for people who, uh, for people who will who will uh, yes, sure, uh, sure, interested sure. only for revision. Lectures. Yes, okay. sure, sure. I will announce about it. Okay. Uh, before we start the revision, I will announce about it, and also if you follow the website, you will find this announcement. So mm -hmm. you can register to the website, even you will not attend the course. Okay. So uh, thank you, Dr. Ahmed Allah, yeah. for, for this you, all information you that you shared with us. Thank you. You are welcome. And you are welcome at any time if you contact me at uh, WhatsApp number. You're welcome for any questions, whatever you join or you would not join. You are welcome at any time in the WhatsApp uh, calling. Okay, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Uh, another question. We have to wait for eligibility letter before we can book the exam. Yes, for booking the exam, uh, you need to uh, wait the eligibility letter. You cannot process to the step of uh, registration to the exam without the eligibility letter. Okay. To work as a clinical pharmacist in Australia, do we need to clear only CAPS exam or you need to finish all steps? CAPS exam is the first step for registration as a pharmacist in Australia. So it is a required step for registration as a pharmacist, plus other steps following the CAPS exam, the written and oral exam. Okay, so uh, I think we covered all your question. And still, if you have any concern, any inquiries about the course, about the CAPS exam, you can contact me directly to the WhatsApp number and register to the uh, website www.newptech.com uh, So uh, for any inquiries, you can send it to me after we finish, okay?
Thank you so much for your attendance today. Today, and I hope all of you passing the exam and having good luck in your steps for registration as a pharmacist in Australia or New Zealand. And see you in the coming lecture, in the first lecture, which will be on the 15th, 15th of March, on the coming Wednesday. Okay. Thank you and goodbye.